Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jazbees 12 box MLB playoffs baseball mixer break number two. I think Chris Jaspi did one of these last night. A lot of nice boxes here, all card ship, a lot of fun stuff. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Thanks to the people, uh, thanks to the people who won their spots in the filler. Thanks for taking the risk on that. All 30 teams are in. And let's roll it and randomize names and teams four and a two, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we got Nick down to Chad. Four and a two, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, we got the Tampa Bay Rays down to the Marlins. And you know, during the break, we'll, we'll talk, we'll recap some of the playoff games today, talk about the future of these playoff teams, so on and so forth. Nick with the Rays, Michael with the Angels, Chad with the Reds, Colin Laspon Mojo, Boston Red Sox, Brandon with the Mariners, Alex with the Guardians, Nick with the Mets, Shea with the Brewers. Chad with the A's, Ivan with the Astros, Chad with the Yankees, Richard with the Rangers, Chad with the Pirates, Nick with the Phillies, Chad with the Orioles, Nick with the Padres, Colin with the Blue Jays, Arthur with the Cardinals, Nancy with the Snakes, James with the Twins, Greg with the Royals, Brandon with the Rockies, Nick with the Tigers, Eddie with the Giants, Jackie with the Braves, Steven with the Cubs, Hojin with my Dodgers, Nick with the White Sox, Hojin with the Nationals, and Chad with the Fish. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video just for, us, just for a few moments. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Twins up for trade, by the way. We're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So big thanks once again to everybody here on Chew Tuesday, the 3rd of October. It's already October. There you go. So Colin, you got official last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. There's everybody else. Thank you everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. That's the legend anyway. That's what the legend says. All right, so we've got our 12 box here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and the pristine is 12. Let's start with the uh, prism first. So we're gonna go back to 2021. 2021 prism baseball. Three autographs per box on average, so that'll be a nice little start. And we'll work our back, our way to the back, to the Inception, the HTA, and the Pristine, Five Star. It'll probably be how we close things out. So thank you, everybody. Appreciate all the good work. We'll do that break credit promo randomizer towards the end as well. And. As promised, this break should take us pretty close to the end of the night, but if we knock out that Hit Parade mixer, I would be uh, I would be down to do that. But regardless, be sure to get your spots in before the promo deadline. Check out jazbeescasebreaks.com for more details. So, baseball playoffs underway, so that's a very exciting part of the season. October is great. We're, we're, what, four or five weeks into the NFL season. Hockey's going to start next week. Basketball preseason starting. And then baseball playoffs. Premier League is just, is, uh, is, has already, is already, what, six, seven games underway. Champions League matches are starting up. You know, international qualifying matches for soccer. Lots of great stuff. We just wrapped up the Ryder Cup for golf, even though a disappointing result for the Americans, but Ryder Cup. What else is happening? MLS playoffs, is that coming up soon? F1 season coming coming to an end, NASCAR season, NASCAR's in playoffs. Got a lot of, uh, lot of sports going on, ladies and gentlemen, so it's gonna be some good times throughout the fall winter. Stick with Jaspies all fall winter long. We'll talk sports, break sports, all sorts of good stuff here. All right, so we'll, we'll break down some of the games when I start popping open the next box. Got some cards stuck together here, but let's see what we got here. We got Anthony Rizzo, still Cubs edition here. 
blue, but you can see it's not numbered. We got Chris Bryan to 199, still Cubs edition here. Otani Red, tier two. I'm not sure what that's worth, but I'll sleeve it up so our team can top load it. I just like the color match, it was nice. There you go, for Eric. Super cross season starting soon, there you have it. There you go, so all sorts of things happening. All right, and our first autograph is gonna be Alejandro Kirk. Rookie autograph for Toronto, that's gonna to be for Colin and the Bluebirds. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break as well. Stack those up next to me. Tyler Glass now, valiant start for him today, but we'll talk about it, but then eh, Rays ran into some problems. You know, there's some kind of, um, there's some kind of coating they use for these cards. So over over time, sometimes it gets, it gets a little, it's a little uh, sticky. There's a uh, Altuve to 75. It's for the Astros, that'll be for Ivan. And there's Joe Adele, the rookie autographs. I'm not sure what, I think he's kind of a quadruple A player, right? Doesn't quite do it in Major League Baseball play whenever he's given the opportunities, but then, but then just crushes in, crushes in triple A, James. This goes to Michael Stapleton in the Angels, which is a little frustrating because he was one of the Angels' sort of top prospects. There's a nice Keeper Ruiz Dodgers edition. You know, so... Kind of a fourth-year rookie, says Randy, yeah. Just, I mean, I know injuries have really derailed him a little bit, but I don't know, maybe if Otani doesn't stay with the Angels, then maybe Trout gets moved to full-time DH, and then maybe you'll see, maybe you'll see Joe Adele more, give him another full chance to try to do something. Otherwise, otherwise maybe a little bit of a little bust situation here. Not sure how common these stained glass is, but they're sure to 99. Might be a little more common in the prison baseball, but I'll sleeve it up anyway, just in case. Chad with the Yankees. We got a Kyle Lewis, green to 125. Got some gold coming up, maybe? No, different color, maybe like a peach tone here. Jack Morris to 100. This is a guy we need to get well soon for next year. Casey Mize went down with the dreaded TJ surgery. Yeah, I guess these stained glass are a little more common than I thought. And there's Josh Fleming, five out of 99. That's Ray's autograph. That's gonna go to Nick Galvin, which is a good segue to the first playoff game of the day where the Rangers shut out the Rays. I could have sworn, I was just like, you know, Rain, the, I think Rangers were in Seattle. They had to fly all the way across the country playing an intense playoff game in Tampa Bay, blah, 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 blah. No. Rays were really sloppy. Four errors today. That's not good. And then Jordan Montgomery pitched 
incredibly well for the uh, for the Rangers. Ray, Ray should be playing Camonero. Yeah, did he not play today? Was there like a righty lefty situation there? I feel like. I feel like there were there were a couple players that were sitting for the Rays who would have been in if there was a righty out there. So I think that kind of maybe jammed them up a little bit. So do the Rays have a chance, ladies and gentlemen? I think all three games are are at home for all these home teams, right? Yeah, they're all at home. I, they're not going to travel for a three-game series. But I saw a stat either on ESPN or MLB Network where game one, it's only a three-game series, right? Game one winners in this brief history of these three-game world wildcard series. Game one winners go on to win the series an overwhelming number of times. You know, and most of the time it's a sweep. So, so that's gonna be a tough uphill climb with the with with the brief history against them. Yeah, James thought it was gonna be a two-zero sweep for the Rays. I, yeah. Frankly, I I, I thought so too. I think I, I have a little bit of financial interest in. In the in Tampa Bay winning the series, they lost today. Toronto winning their series, they lost today. Milwaukee winning their series, they lost today. And the Phillies winning their series, they actually won today. So not looking good. This is why I don't I don't like doing futures plays, but yeah, it's for fun, for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, I mean, Ray's hitters didn't do much. Paredes, Curtis Mead had a hit each. I think Taylor Walls had a couple hits, and that's that. Oh, Arzarena had a couple hits. And that, that's pretty much that. Six hits kind of scattered throughout those nine innings. All right, 2023 prison baseball this time. Yeah, no word on Julio Urias yet. I mean, he's a free agent. He's obviously not going to be on the playoff roster for the Dodgers, but he's, I guess once the World Series is over, he's officially a free agent. So kind of, kind of, I mean, this the the silver lining, if you even want to call it that. Nice. Luis Angel Acuna, Rangers. Ronald's brother. Part of that big trade. That's going to go to Richard and the Rangers. Still Rangers edition here. But no, no other news. I mean, I think they're, there's... I'm sure there's going to be a court date or some hearing set up some point this fall, winter, but... Let's go! Dylan, let's go! Four out of 75. Let's go! And it goes to Nick Galvin and the Padres. But as, as for his relationship with the Dodgers, I think that's pretty much done. Which is on four points. We'll randomize this to uh, to one person in the break. Winner take all of the points. I'll hide those now. It's a bummer. Points, the reward store has gotten a lot better over the years, but it does take the place of an autograph, so that's always a bummer. I always like seeing live autos. There's Joe Torre to 199. But yeah, his Julio Ruiz's relationship with the Dodgers is over. He was he's gonna supposed to be one of the biggest paid free agents in the offseason, but I don't think that's gonna happen. You know, according to according to eyewitness you know, eyewitness reports, you know, obviously nothing's been proven in the court of law, innocent until proven guilty, all that sort of stuff, but Yeah, it's not sounding good, according to the rumors that are out there. You know, there are enough eyewitnesses that saw, you know, Julio Urias striking his wife and then called the police there. And now they're involved. They took the report, all that sort of stuff. You know, it's not good. Not good for anybody. Not good for anybody. Everybody loses in this situation. And 
is Jeff Bagwell to 149. That rookie, uh, Bobby Wood Jr., by the way, goes to Greg. He'll be cheap. You think someone's actually going to sign him? Yeah, he will, he'll definitely be cheap. There'll definitely be a lot of, a lot of clauses in there that could terminate the contract, but it, it is the second incident. I mean, he, he... There's Addison Barber. That's Colin with the Blue Jays. I think that Ellie Dela Cruz doesn't have an RC logo on it, but that could be a rookie card for this particular year. For this set. JT Ginn to 199. So go to the Reds. Chad with the Reds. I mean, I don't know. It'll depend on how the how the how the case, you know, how criminal charges and all that, how all that works out. But what if he goes to jail, James? You know, I think his baseball career is effectively over. Nice. I knew that was going to be a low number. The black gold, three out of five, chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. It's going to go to the Braves. Jackie Rudko and the Atlanta Braves. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. And there's Michael Bush. All right, on to, uh, I guess the rest will be top stuff. Let's do tops fire first. Two autographs per box on average. <laughs> right, I forgot, James. Well, million dollar pro athletes, they don't go to jail. What are you talking about? They don't go to jail for that kind of stuff. Which is unfortunate, but it's, it's the way it's been. That's right, on a Chew Tuesday. Love hitting the train whistles on a Chew Tuesday. Um... Anyone think the, just to put a bow on that Rays series, at least for tonight, anyone think the Rays end up winning the series? The odds are stacked against them. They gotta win two in a row. Granted, they are at home though. Twins beat the Blue Jays, three to one, Royce Lewis. Former number one overall pick, dust off your Royce Lewis's. I know he's been suffering from some injuries, but when he plays it, you know the talent is there. He just has to put together a good full season. Maybe a good postseason might do it. James, you're still gonna go race. All right, Emma, now Rangers seem to are, do seem to be up and down. We'll look at we'll look at uh, tomorrow's. Let's see if the pitching probables are out for tomorrow. Twins beat the Blue Jays. Do you think the Blue Jays have a chance? Royce Lewis, two homers for in his first two at-bats. I think it's the first time for any player's playoff debut. It's the first time or very rare. Not too many players have done that. Do the Brewers come back? Can they win two in a row? Diamondbacks beat the Brewers six to three. Diamondbacks hit Burns hard. They rally for a 6-3 victory over the Brewers. Corbin Carroll with, you know, smoked one. You know, there are some big bombs there. Nick says Rangers will win that series. Diamondbacks win the series. Twins win the series. Twins win theirs, and the Phillies take down Miami. I mean, that's pretty much in line with just the recent trends since we've done the three-game wild card. You know what I mean? The winners of the first game more often than not, are, are taking the, the series. I almost think that the wild card should be five games and the divisional series should be up to seven games. Keep the CS at seven games and the World Series obviously at seven games. All right, tops fire. There's a Javier Baez. I, I don't know this set very well, so I'm gonna have to plot through this. Are these numbered? No, that's not numbered, but that is numbered up there. 
Nikhil Badu for the uh, uh, for what you call it, the Tigers. Nick Galvin, that's you, Nick. You got to read Detmers as well. Here is an Otani fire die cut for the Angels. That's for Michael. And uh, Phillies beat the Marlins 4-1. Although, I mean, as, as someone who's had Craig Kimbrell on their team as a Dodger fan, Nice, here's a rookie auto for the Twins. Speaking of the Twins, James, that's you. We got Jose Miranda. To the moon! Yeah, but knowing Craig Kimbrell, it's, it's gonna be a stressful playoff for the Phillies. And we've got a Kevin Smith rookie autograph for the A's. That's going to be for Chad. Nice season for J.D. Martinez with the Dodgers this year. Not sure if that's a shorter printed insert, but nice trout. There he is to the moon. Flamethrowers, Liam Hendrick. Black, not, I guess that is a little bit more common than I thought. Yachty. Another Akil Badu, that's to two ninety nine for Nick Galvin and the Tigers. That's with the spot that he won in the filler. Come on, Julio. I'm not sure if that Darvish might be a special, but it looks a little different there. And you saw it, the Julio Rodriguez rookie card. Brandon with the Mariners. Kind of like this set. No, that grades out at a PSA 10, that'll be nice. It might be worth a shot. All right, so now let's get into some 2021 Bowman first edition. So today, what day is today? Tuesday the 3rd, tomorrow's Wednesday the 4th. And looks like we do have, according to ESPN, they do have the pitching probables up here. So tomorrow's early game is the Rangers, I think it's the same as tonight. It's gonna be Rangers at Rays, that's the early game on ABC, noon my time, three o'clock East Coast time. Nate Eovaldi and Zach Eflin. So Tampa Bay fighting for their lives. Toronto is at Minnesota. That's also that's the second game, same as today on ESPN. Jose Barrios versus Sonny Gray. It's a good pitching matchup. Toronto fighting for their lives. Then uh, a few hours after that is ESPN two. Will be Arizona at Milwaukee, four o'clock my time. 
LA time. Toronto twi and Twins are 1.30 my time. Uh, Zach Allen is going out there. He's, he put together what some think are, is a Cy Young season and uh, Freddie Peralta, Milwaukee, fighting for their lives. And then the late game, five o'clock Pacific, five o'clock Los Angeles time, Miami at Philadelphia, Miami fighting for their lives, Braxton Garrett and Aaron Nola. It's gonna be tough with Aaron Nola on the mound. And the division series starts on Saturday, so the wild cards will be decided as as early as tomorrow. By by this time tomorrow night, we might know everyone who advances. It might be might be four sweeps here in this short three game series. All right, nice little Corbin Carroll on top. That's not his Bowman first, but this is a first edition. All right, so you can see the first first right here. A little bend to these cards right here, I guess, over time. Sometimes that happens. There's Royce Lewis, today's playoff hero. The main things we're looking for would, of course, be these sort of parallels. There's Matt Manning. And we're looking for numbered cards here. Like this? No, oh, Wander Funk. <laughs> Nick with the Rays. Hey, Anthony, Aaron Sabato is supposed to be one of the big names right there. That's a first first. Jackson Coar is not numbered. All right, yeah, late first round pick. Supposed to be one of the big twins prospects. Austin Martin, first first. What are you gonna do? Three months ago, that would have been a, a you know, it would have been a nice card. Austin Martin, still Blue Jays edition. That'll go to Butte, Colin. Colin with that one. All right, we got a yellow parallel. Christian Robinson, twenty-eight out of seventy-five. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was going to be a nice card, and it's got some number on it, I got a parallel, and then immediate letdown. Has anyone heard anything about the, the Wander situation? I mean, we don't really have to discuss that in depth, but I feel like I would have seen some new, I mean, I'm looking at sports headlines all day long. Here's a Brett Beatty to 150. That's going to be for Nick and the Mets. And I feel like the longer there's no news, it sounds like not so good news. Sorry, Bryce Turing.
Dax Fulton back there. All right, let's move on to some 2023 Cosmic. Some nice parallels here. If I remember correctly, autographs not super common in Cosmic, right? I think it just says look for autographs, but it isn't, doesn't sound like it says there are X amount of autographs per box. Do you think if we're the NFL, we would have all the evidence? Yeah, I feel like NFL has better investigative powers than Major League Baseball. Or I guess it's in the hands of, is it the Dominican Republic? I forget what country this all happened in, but. You know, I, who knows how long their, their investigative processes last, but it's not looking good. World Series predictions, ladies and What would the worst World Series be? <laughs> What's the World Series that Fox, I think Fox has a World Series, right? What's the World Series matchup that Fox does not want? Uh, one that's gonna be low rated, casuals won't even look at it, there's no star, I mean, there's stars on every team though, but. What would the worst World Series matchup be? Brewers Twins. Yeah, both Central Division teams. You know, with, uh, I don't know how huge any of those fan bases are. I guess they got a pretty strong fan base, but outside of their respective cities. There's a nice Jordan Walker Shimmer. Aqua Shimmer to 199. But yeah, I'm not sure if, uh, you know, if the coastal elites are going to be, are going to be into Brewers Twins World Series. Bro, you are missing one hell of a chat right now. What's happening over there? There's one guy who's just anti, anti breaks and he's going to war with about everybody in the chat. Can we just ban him? I, he's muted on our chat, but everyone still sees him. Oh. Um. It's, it's like pretty crazy. Like, is he like cursing people out? It's just like, he's like, was coming, kind of coming after us. And oh, like, it's our fault. Like, yeah. We, we, we were with yeah. Avi. Yeah. Like, there was a Raider Arias Refractor autograph, and uh, Jason was like, nice. And he's like, yeah, nice. That's a $5 card. Jeez. Like, first of all, no, it's not. Yeah, hey, it's not. That just sounds like some grumpy old dude who, yeah. who wasn't successful in group breaks and then is just now bitter about it. Here's Brett Beatty. I, I was saying, telling you, autographs were not common in this and here comes a Brett Beatty rookie auto, extraterrestrial talent insert auto, which is pretty nice for Nick Galvin and the Mets. Ooh. Alec, oh. <laughs> what a weird season for Alec Manoa. Yeah, it sounds like a, a, a troller out there. I don't know what happened with him, but hopefully he bounces back. Blue Jays, Colin, all aboard the Big Hit Express. A troller. Listen, I've been doing, I've been in this world for a long time. For nine, going on ten years. And I'll tell you, <laughs> you know, you'd be surprised how often people love or hate the hobby. It really, really depends on how well they're doing in a group break. 
you know? I know people who will get into a break like Topps Chrome, right? And the teams that are hitting, if, if, you're, if your team is hitting, all of a sudden, man, what a product. Topps Chrome, 2021 Tom, what a product. You know, but if your team is not hitting, terrible product. Poor correlation from Topps, you know? Blah, 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 it all comes out. It's just... So it is kind of funny to see. So, you know. So, I mean, more often than not, it's going to be someone who's that anti group breaking. It's someone who just didn't check their budget, didn't strategize properly, you know, didn't go into it without being knowledgeable studying checklists and staying on budget and, you know, doing their, their research. You know, it's probably someone who didn't do that, didn't get a lot of hits, is angry and maybe angry at himself. You know, maybe was join, maybe was doing breaks with a breaker who is a little more predatory. There are, there are guys like that out there. We try to be pretty low key sales wise. You know, we don't try to push I mean, we want to sell stuff, obviously. You know, we're a for, for-profit for business, but we try we try to make sure everybody understands, you know, the risks that that uh, that are involved in, in in collecting this way, in this way. So we try not to be too predatory. I don't think we're predatory at all. <laughs> you know, we try to be as full disclosure as possible and all that sort of stuff, but. Sometimes you can get caught with the with, with some bad actors out there, and then that ruins the hobby for you. There's Lorenzo Cain to 199. You know, we don't want to ruin the hobby for anybody. We try not to anyway. But man, it's it's the risk we take, Eric. You're right. It is the risk we take. The Moncada not numbered. Yeah, imagine if you got to my randomizers, James. Uh, he might be, he might be knocking on the door of. Here's a Trevor Rogers rookie card of like Tops or Panini. He'd be, he'd be on the doorstep of Fanatics, being like, "What the heck are you guys doing?" There's Miami, Chad with the fish. And here's uh, Ashton Godot waiting for Godot. Uh, that's for Brandon. Brandon Jensen and the uh, Rockies. I've got a buddy, Ryan Jensen. I like how it's, he autographs this. Oh, I got her autograph along that line. You think he did all his cards like that? Cabrian Hayes, rookie refractor. I feel like injuries have been derailing Cabrian Hayes a little bit. Chad with the Pirates. I feel like if he can stay healthy, you know, he can be pretty a centerpiece of that Pirates youth movement. This is 2021. I got to put my head in like 2021 mode. There's Prismic Power, Freddie Freeman Braves edition to 50. Pretty, pretty. Jackie with the Braves. Got a Jazz Chisholm rookie card. Hey, Brian Garcia did it too. You signed along the line. Yeah, James is a big Brian fan. 
intervention school. D two of my town, Lexington. I got my name. I went to future school, Boston College. I had to get some love to the national team. Ronald Acuna Jr. Tyler Stevenson, Green Shimmer to 99. Leody Tavares. Uh, Tyler Stevenson for the Reds. That's going to be for Chad. And the Jazz Chisholm rookie card will also be for Chad. And they're all doing it. Andy Young, Diamondbacks, Purple Chrome autograph for Nancy and the Snakes. Maybe they told him to sign that spot. I don't remember all of those, those being signed along that area like that out of 2021 Topps Chrome. We must have ripped a ton of this when it came out. Tell him to sign him like this. There's Zach McKinstry. Rookie auto. This is Dodgers edition. That's going to be for Ho Jin. All right. We're getting to some of the some of the uh, lighter stuff here. Tops Chrome Black. Actually, let's do Pristine first. Still a little bit heavier. Or greater number of cars in here. And then we'll get into like Tom's Chrome Black, we'll get into some HTA, some Inception. So as I was mentioning in uh, earlier in the break, I saw a stat on like MLB Network or something like that where like 90% of the teams or something crazy like that advance. If they win game one, they advance in a three game wild card. Small sample size. This format hasn't been around for a while, but, but in that small sample size, the team that wins game one moves on. So with that being said, if that, if that is true, that means the Blue Jays, or sorry, the Twins will meet the Astros. Who wins that series? Twins, Astros. I think Astros, right? In a five game series. Nick's thinking Astros. All right. If the results stand, the Rangers will face the Orioles. Rangers O's, who wins that series? I agree with Astros, Nick. I, I think Orioles. Five games? Nick also thinks O's. So that means Astros, Orioles, ALCS. The Battle of the Orange Teams. Who moves on there, Nick? Astros, Orioles. My heart wants the, uh, my heart wants the Orioles. But uh, yeah, by my heart wants the Orioles, but my head slash wallet may say Astros. So we got the Astros in the World Series, Nick. All right, so if results stand, the Diamondbacks will face my Dodgers. Dodgers, obviously. Um, and if the results stand, Phillies A, Phillies A, I'm just looking at the letter A. Phillies Braves. Phillies Braves. Brave, right? Although they got a couple of their starting pitchers. This isn't like Max Fried and Spencer Strider coming off injuries or are injured. But it's still got to be Braves. So yeah, Dodgers obviously homer bias. I like Nick Galvin's sweep prediction, though. All right. Well, Nick, that's... 
about Dodgers, uh, Dodgers Braves in the NLCS, and you think it's going to be Dodgers, and it's Dodgers Astros. Wow. And the Dodgers win the World Series with that with that patchwork starting pitching. Oh. I mean, then again, all the years that I thought the Dodgers would win. <laughs> You know, they they get they got bounced early last year, you know. So this year I'm the least confident about the Dodgers, so maybe that's when they're going to win the World Series. I would love to see a W over the Astros, that's for sure. That would be like uh that would be like Kobe seeing the Celtics again for the second time in three finals in three years and beating the Celtics. That, that was one of the sweetest championships that the Lakers won. So here's the Relic Auto down here. So if I, if, if there was a, if there was a repeat of that kind of thing that happened, that, that would be pretty nice. 33 out of 99, Gerard Encarnacion, purple. For the Marlins, there's Kyle Schorber for the Phillies to 25. That'll be for Nick. That's for you, Nick Galvin. We're taking it to the Max. Max Castillo to 75. Greg and the Royals. All right. Well, hey, James Altman is one of the reasons why the Dodgers' offenses look so good this season. And the relic auto is Jesse Winker. He's the Winker, ladies and gentlemen, for Shea and the Brew Crew. Piece of the uh, piece of the lumber is autograph. Nice. And Corbin Carroll didn't exist. James Almond might be your uh, your NL Rookie of the Year. All right. Ooh. Poke myself with my, my knife. Watch out, Joe. Here, we'll put that over there. We got Max Kepler for the Twins. That's going to be for James. We got Byron Buxton for James. Gold auto to 50, 11 out of 50. We got Maglio Ordonez, 5 out of 15, pink. Or uh, maybe cherry blossom pink, like, like, like the trees in like DC, Washington DC and Japan, I think, that area, places around the world. Uh, Nick with the Tigers, Nick Galvin. Vlad Guerrero Sr., that's for the Nationals. Ho Jin with that one. We got Kanan Smith and Jigba. Pirates, that's gonna be for Chad Cromwell. And there's Ronald Acuna Jr. to 50 for the Braves. Speaking of the Braves, Jackie with the Braves, your presumptive NL MVP. All right, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that 2021 Topps Chrome Black. Ooh, finally. Good, he, he had a really strong start to his season, slumped in the middle of the season, and then really finished strong last two months of the season. So your classic rookie up up and down, but but yeah, overall, putting together some really nice numbers and hopefully a contributor in the playoffs. We're gonna need him. All right, there's Alec Bohm, Austin Meadows, and Aaron Judge. All rise to 150. Really love the look of these cards. They're really sharp. That's gonna be for Chad Cromwell and the Yankees. All right, what do we got here? Is, wow, Brewers legend Robin Yount. That's for Shea and the Brew Crew. Nice. All right, let's get the Inception going here. 2021 Inception. Yeah, I think last year, the Dodgers 7, 8, 9 hitters were like a black hole. But I think, I think the line, lineup top to bottom this year definitely feels a lot better. All right. 
think that's the hit on the bottom, so all these must be... All right, here's Davey Garcia, Strasburg, Harper, Jesus Sanchez, Green Josh Hader, not numbered, and Green Joe Adele. And he's gonna reveal a Ian Anderson. Nice rookie patch and autograph for the Braves, speaking of the Braves. Jackie with Atlanta. That is uh, 36 out of 75. Nice. All right, now 2022 Inception. So we can see how the design has changed in a season, although that 2021 design wasn't so bad. What does 2022 look like? You know, I don't know, a uh, little, little side sidetrack note here, as I watch this Kia commercial that I'm sure you've seen a million times as well. I don't, I suppose I don't mind commercials, and maybe this is just the state of the industry, but, there's the autographs right down there. I don't, suppose I don't really mind commercials, but I kind of mind seeing the same GD commercials. I mean, if I have to see that, any of those Derek Jeter Grand Wagoneer commercials ever again. Tony Santillan to 99. Actually, I like this design a lot. I like those geometric patterns in the background. But like that Kia commercial where the, all the brothers and sisters take all the, take their respective Kia SUVs and they go to the desert and they project some wedding anniversary thing to their parents. Don't worry, they'll be there. <laughs> and mom and dad, don't worry, they'll be there. Like, come on. Just, like, maybe that's just the state of the industry. Companies, you know, tightening their belts a little bit. Maybe not enough in the advertising budget, but man. Or at least just cut different versions of that commercial. There's Ernie Clement. 166 out of 299. Cleveland, this is for you. That's gonna be for Alex and the Guardians. Right, come on, commercials. Maybe companies can't afford commercials. Maybe that's just what's going on. Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost done, folks. HTA and then five star. Good luck, everybody. We did a case of these today, which is really nice. Earlier today, there's Adrian Pinto for the Bluebirds. Colin with the Blue Jays. Now we're your number 15 Blue Jays prospect according to MLB.com. That's good to see. Then we've got Wilfredo uh, Antunes. Cleveland, this is for you. Alexander with the Guardians. Wow. Embarked on a pro career at 17 years old. Baseball someday is going to be like soccer, right? Where there's going to be like, they're going to sign kids at like 10 years old and then, you know, and then they'll get like private tutors for educations and they'll go to like some like, they'll be like the under 18s under 16s, under 15, like, youth academies. And Blue Ray Wave, Jacob Melton for the Strohs, 20 out of 150. That's gonna be for Ivan. Wow. Well, Jacob Melton, fly fisherman here, apparently. Went fly fishing five to six times per week while rehabbing shoulder injury in college. I mean, surely he wasn't using his other, his shoulder to cast, right? Never been fly fishing. Fishing from a lake fishing on a boat. Deep sea fishing on a charter boat. 
not fly fishing. All right, final box. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to go fly fishing someday. I want to try that. Would love to uh, go marlin fishing someday as well. Let's use a blank filler card here to slow play the hits. Someday. Maybe, maybe uh, if we sell more of these mixers, I can retire. Ah, this always gets me. I see angels, I see M, I see what looks like a T, and you think it's that guy. I mean, with, Apollo, with my respects to Matt Tice, I mean, I'm sure Matt Tice, if he was in our group break, probably would want to pull a Mike Trout instead, but hey, Michael, there you go. MT for the angels. I know, me too, it gets me every time. It's like, you know, white dude with a strong chin, Angels, you see M, you see T, even though we know that's not Mike Trout's autograph, but you kind of see that, you know, you get it in your head, you kind of see MT, you see Angels. That's what my eyes see, like right there. Like, what do you, what, what do you expect me to do? Sorry, Matt, but you know, we're looking for Mike. We're looking for Mike, all right. But hey, that's still a hit for Michael. And the final one is a rookie. Brendan McKay, five tool phenom. If he can stay healthy, nine out of 25. I think he was a highly touted prospect, supposed to be kind of a two way player. I don't think he's going to do that anymore. Nick with the Rays. But I think injuries have continued to de derail his, uh, his career. Might have to change him to just straight up hitter, though. Put this one in the back of a shoebox or a drawer or something like that, Nick, and then check in on him in a season or two. All right, we'll do a recap in a second, but we gotta do the randomizer for this. What's up, Sal? What's going on? All right, so let's go right back here. New dice, new list. Everyone's gonna get a shot at the points. Let's gather. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's where his injury history is coming in, James. Three times. Name on top gets 900 points, a decent amount of points. One, two, and three quick times. Richard, after three, you're going to get those 900 points. All right, thanks, everybody. Quick little recap. Let's see. I mean, we do have time. I don't think anything sold out after this. So, Brendan McKay. Let's look at what, he's already 27? Jeez. He underwent Tommy John surgery in September of 2022. On November 10th, 2022, he was removed from the 40-man roster, out, sent outright to AAA. The Rays released him on the 14th of November, but re-signed him to a two-year minor league deal on December 15th, 2022. So he's probably only just, just probably, I mean, he's probably gonna go into this off season healthy for the first time in a long time. So hopefully the surgery went well. Maybe he won't be hitting again or pitching again. I mean, now at this point, is he a better pitcher or hitter? I have no idea. But there's your recap right there. JJ, yeah, I was, uh, tomorrow is going to be football day, man. Panini Black drops tomorrow. So I'm sure we'll be doing a lot of that. I was out of five. Julio Rodriguez, rookie. That's out of five as well. All right, pretty solid break. And then, of course, Richard will get the 900 points. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. We got a 26-box baseball mixer in the store. Keep chipping away at that overnight, and maybe we'll get that done tomorrow as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.